Hey, good morning. Yeah, I'm back. How to prevent the next pandemic. Wow, thanks, Bill. He came out with a new book. It's coming out 3rd of May. But let's first look at a few other videos because he's got a lot in there. I'm not going to cover them all, so go take a look for yourself. So a quick look today will be at Heroes in the Field, and it's the truck. Let's take one quick look at this one. Africa, we're still in the grip of the COVID epidemic. So we were looking for solutions, ideas on how best to combat the pandemic. We came up with the idea for the truck and we brought it to government and it was love. The truck is a multimedia platform that goes out into hard to reach communities, telling people stories around COVID-19. It's quite a sophisticated machine. It's got LED screens on three sides and screens on three sides. And we were able to play messages as the truck moves through the streets. It is an attraction. There's no denying that. Everybody wants it. Once they've seen it, they will ask for it to come. All right, computer is glitching, but that's okay because I got pictures, so don't you worry. So LED screens on three sides. Yes, oh my goodness. When you see all these pictures, you're amazed. But marketing and sales, who would have known that it would attract, right? Oh my goodness, it's a multi million dollar organization. That's how they get everyone. I mean, look at Cindy Crawford back in the 80s, 90s. I can't even remember when this was, but you guys know uh, 90s right there. I mean, most guys remember her i don't know if they went out and bought pepsi or not but they remember that commercial and what's up you know i don't have to go on you, you guys know it's the television right i mean subliminal messaging even the jingles get in your ear no matter how big the lie repeat it showing the okay sign while of course she's got that red cross on her back right notice that It'll be in many other videos of theirs as well. I mean, obviously, they are united. And, of course, they want to bring the music so people will dance and get comfortable, right? Yeah. And then look what they have on the screen in this last little shot. We will take them. Huh. What? By surprise, take them out. Huh. I wonder what words came next. I don't know, because it didn't go on. But in the second video just take a look of course they're knocking on a door and notice what's on the door it's yeah you can see it it's the C and the C and Saturn almost like you're 36 because you have your C and the 6 above it you see that as well I mean just many things I mean just ridiculous and this disgusts me that it is so easy to give some things I can't say a lot, of course, do your research, but we know Alice Bailey, what she said, don't go for the older generation, go for the children, right? That's what they said. And we need a lot of ideas here, he says. Ah, uh, yes, ideas. And then they show this. We already have some of the tools we need. You know, I can only say so much. Even in my last video, I, you know, all I can say is yes. We know, we know. And then as for those we don't have yet, we can. Hmm, it's going to go on, but I'm just wondering, is this where the science is? <laughs> because I have my own ideas, you know, I'm just saying. But, and then he goes on to say, and for those that we don't have yet, we can invent them. Invent them, right. Are you doing that while sitting there, Bill? I'm just wondering. And are we ready for the next epidemic? He's standing there. I don't think that those are not his eyes right there. But, you know, I could be wrong. But all I can say, taken from all these... We're not as close to the end of this pandemic as we would like. But we... We have learned a lot about how to stop this from happening again. All right. 
I'm sure you guys saw the Red Cross in there, right? Absolutely. And then it gets even better when we see Bill Gates. Oh my goodness, he announcing he announces his new book. Oh wow. How to prevent the next pandemic. Oh <laughs> thank you, Bill. We couldn't have done it without you, right? And this is just a thought, you know, of what I was thinking when I saw that. I'm just saying, but you can go on to read a little bit of what he has to say there. And it goes on to say, but like the sea catastrophe, but also eliminate all respiratory diseases, including, I can't say the word. Oh, I flew like a bird is flying, right? Here is a clarion call, they say, strong, comprehensive, and the gravest importance from one of the greatest and most effective thinkers and activists. There's so much I thought of here, not only looking at how many little red dots there were, 88. Oh, yeah, I mean, I could say so much about the 88. I'm sure you guys know all about the 88. And Nicholson shares a little bit about that too. So I'll, I'll direct you to him if you're unaware. But it's all magic, right? But Clarion, he uses that word. And I went to look... It's a medieval trumpet with a clear, shrill tones. Shrill. Are you hearing? That's a clarion. I, you know, I don't know anything about this, but all I can tell you is we all already know the spirit in there, because that's what he starts to talk about next. That's the spirit in which I look at the lessons. Yeah, we know what spirit was there. Bill is going to give us three-step plan he goes on to talk about three yeah i have a video that will make it possible to make disastrous pandemics a thing of the past i think it's exciting uh that we have this opportunity to use our best ideas to stop pandemics for all right i know you guys don't want to hear his voice anymore but you heard him he wants to you know make sure it never happens again and I know you guys know all about what is going on with what they're using, not only CRISPR and the technology. If you don't know, I'll give you the video. And he explains it, and it's on his own YouTube page. You can clearly understand what is in the scoop and what they're doing with it. So I'm just saying once again. And of course, they're united with the schools right he's together with cambridge and even this country right here who's helping the poor and the needy which is a great thing that they're doing don't get me wrong but to understand exactly who's involved it's clear in just the things they say and the things they do and you can see it in right there the pyramids i don't need to show you the video because I, I can clearly, and you all know who he is, so I don't need to say more. We are convinced already. It's not just about the reading and the writing, but they want to give them skills. Yeah, they want to change the whole education, education system like they've done around the world, teaching them about yoga as well. It's just an exercise, money say. Yeah, sure. Tell that to the most creative yoga master, the new age lady, Alice Bailey, who's still linked with the UN and all of that. But you guys know this. I'm just saying, look at what she wore and how she wore it right here. And it reminded me exactly of the Masonic apron or one worn by their worshipful master. Right? And they are together with lions. I couldn't find it. No, I couldn't find any connections with that organization. No, but I know that he is. <laughs> it's clear. I know you guys already.